the control is like it's like an addiction, and it, it's, it's from a, from one perspective, it's like it's like a vicious cycle. It is, and you get so caught up in it, you can't see, you can't let go of it. That's it. Yeah. And you're experiencing that process now of letting go emotionally. And it's quite traumatic, isn't it? It's like, whoa, it's, like, it's very hard emotionally to let go. And it's a feeling Graham's been going through. Because when I first met Graham, what was it, 18 months ago now, or two years perhaps, you were very intellectual, very connected. And now you're getting into your soul so much, but the letting go of the intellect. And this is this feeling that a spirit has, exactly the same feeling. And I feel like, there's six fear stuff, and, and they just don't know what to do. They don't. Yeah. They, they, they can't see outside the control. Exactly. And, and it's like you just can't see it at all. Yeah. When you've become so self-reliant, you are now controlling your entire existence. So if you imagine in the sixth fear, you're in the sixth fear, you can control absolutely every single thing surrounding you. Through your law of attraction, it's very powerful, you're very much in the natural love space, you're in this loving space and a moral, moral space, and you can control what you create so much. So you can go from, and I think Lucinda described it in one of the channelings in the some of you may have heard of, as a sideways shift. So you can you can go from this thing experimenting, this thing experimenting, that thing experimenting, this thing, that thing, and this thing, and that thing, thinking that you're progressing. But in reality, all you're doing is doing the same thing over again with a different subject. So what can they do? What they can do, what they need to do is start talking to the divine love spirits from a soul connection perspective. So what they need to start doing is allowing themselves to realize that there are things that they've missed about themselves. And what they've missed is this whole area of themselves called the soul. Not their mind, it's to do with their emotions, their passions and desires. And it's actually about connecting that with God and understanding that God is actually an entity. And I know for many six fear spirits that blows their mind. And if you think about it for yourselves, when I talk about God being an entity, many of you feel like, how does that work? Like how, can, like how can this huge universe with all these different dimensions be created by one being? How powerful is that being? How immense is that? And you're telling me this being can have a personal relationship with me? How crazy are you, Mike, right? Now, for a spirit, what they need to do is allow themselves to understand that one thing. That in the sixth sphere, they need to come to understand that God is a being with whom they can have a personal soul to soul connection, not an intellectual connection anymore, a soul to soul connection, which means developing their soul, developing themselves emotionally with a passionate desire for God. And all they need to do to experiment with it is to actually have the longing, to feel the longing in their soul, and the divine love, because of their condition, will begin to flow into their soul. And in that process, they will be drawn back to the third sphere to investigate all of these soul truths that they missed out on because they weren't <coughs> interested in them at the time. Just in the reading that you don't know that long is in your heart, that reading, which is all in you, but that you don't know. Yeah, it's a huge thing. And then there's something will hear that will help them to go forward. Yep. And as soon as they have that longing, their law of attraction will attract a spirit, usually in the divine path, who is in a higher development, who is very similar in their background, to them to help them through that progression. 